Hi, I'm Nick from Music Tribe, and we're going to be looking at how to update the firmware, transfer data, and the surface test mode on your wing. There are two simple ways of transferring data to your console. One while the console is powered on, and one while the console is powered off. Let's start with the console powered on. First, we need to connect the USB port on the rear of the console to a USB port on your computer. Ensure that you connect to a USB port on your computer as connecting to a hub can sometimes cause intermittent dropouts. Once connected, we need to go into the setup menu. In the top left hand corner is the global area. We need to press the edit button for this section. On the right hand side of the menu is the OS access and the data access option. If we select the OS access option, our wing will then appear on our computer as an external storage device wing underscore OS. Whilst in this mode, it is not possible to transfer USB audio to or from the console. When new firmware for the wing is released, you can download this from the wing download page at Behringer.com. Once downloaded, extract the .zip file and then drag and drop the firmware file onto the wing OS drive. Ensure that you remove the old firmware file from the wing. Once transferred to the OS drive, the new firmware will boot onto your console. If you engage the data access mode, your wing will now be recognised by your computer as wing underscore data. In this mode, you can transfer snapshots between your computer and your wing. The second way of transferring firmware and data is with the console powered off. We always recommend using the safe power down mode. To do this, press set up and then shut down in the top right hand corner. When the console shutdown message appears on screen, you can now use the power switch on the rear of the console. We now need to boot the console in data transfer mode. To do this, push and hold the blank button on the right hand side of the screen and then power the console on. When booting the console in this mode, no lights will illuminate on the panel. However, it will be identified by your computer as Wing OS and Wing Data external drive. The data transfer process in this mode is exactly the same as previously mentioned. Also, when booting in this mode, it is possible to perform a surface test on your console to ensure that all screens and lights are working correctly. To do this, press the view button of a specific section. If we have selected one of the fader banks, we now need to adjust the faders. We can also test all buttons in this area to ensure that they are lighting up as they should. Once you've completed the surface test, ensure that you safely eject the drive from your computer before powering the console off. Once powered off, we can safely reboot the console. Once your console has booted, it will be running the latest firmware and any snapshots that you have transferred can be found in the library section. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel so that you are notified of any new updates. Thanks again.